Hey folks, it's time for Frugal Prepper to so, sell. This car's been uh, always serviced by a local shop here in town. Well, I'll just say it was Amco, was my understanding. Uh, so, this is my Buick Lucerne that I bought for $400. It's had a rebuilt transmission put in it. Um, but, you know, like, things like this wasn't in the wiring loom. So it was hanging down against the exhaust manifold, melting the wiring. Like, that's just a problem waiting to happen. You know, um, things like ABS pump, bolt missing. <laughs> um, things like none of these harness, none of these wiring was put back in its proper harness. So it's all been in places that's too hot and it's melted. I'll have to put a new harness on that. But it was the same thing up here. Nothing was right. So I've, I've redone that. <laughs> um, that, all that wiring was exposed. You know, Hamco charges way too much. And you go there and you get shitty work. <laughs> you know, that's just crazy. This car just has a case of mechanics didn't know what they were doing. So, um, you know, it just is what it is, I guess. But um, I got the... Uh, Replaced the air shocks in the back, disabled the air suspension, uh, put factory struts back in. The struts that they had put in there have a thicker coil and they have an extra coil. <laughs> so put some factory struts back on it from the salvage yard. She now has give and she bounces. Uh, I'm getting ready to take her out for a test drive, but now the battery's going dead on it. I don't know if it needs a new battery or if it's got parasitic draw problems from all these wiring issues that are created by a mechanic who doesn't know what they were doing. This is one of the most reliable vehicles there are. This guy wanted to get rid of it because he had way too much money in repairs. But the repairs were coming because the shop that he was using wasn't doing things right. <laughs> And when you don't do things right and you let the wiring rub and chafe and you're going to start having all kinds of weird issues with your car. It's a nice, clean car. He sold me this car for $400 because he was tired of messing with it. And the GM 3.8 liter Buick, one of the most reliable cars out there. One of the easiest cars to work on. It's super easy to work on. I don't know. I guess it just is what it is. But uh, be careful where you take your cars, folks, because you got mechanics that don't know what the frick they're doing, and they don't want to take the time to put stuff back right. Just like there's a small transmission fluid leak that's coming from these two hoses right down here where they didn't put them back in their bracket, and they've been rubbing and vibrating. That's where the transmission fluid's leaking. So I got to fix that. It's because they were too lazy to put the bracket back on that holds them to keep them from rubbing and chafing them. This shitty work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's sitting a lot better now. So I'm going to charge up the battery and take her out for a test drive. See what's going on with it.